Nick Park is best known for his creations of the characters Wallace and Gromit, and several films starring them. Park was born in 1958 in Preston, England, where he grew up with his family. Park called his father a tinkerer, maker, and mender. He spent much time out in his workshop in their backyard and built many things for the family, keeping them from having to buy anything new. As children, Park and his siblings tried very hard to follow in their father's footsteps. He and his brother tried especially hard to get onto a show called Blue Peter. Blue Peter is an English show that recognizes great things that people have done. They tried to get on by sending them inventions and contraptions that they made, which were not unlike the kind that Wallace and Gromit make. One of these was a bubble car, which was popular when Park was a child. As Park said in his own words, however, sadly, that had to wait until I was an adult. As a child, Park had a love of cartooning, which carries with him to this day. One year for her birthday, Park's mother received an 8mm camera. All the children were encouraged to make films with it, and they all did. Park, however, did it slightly differently than the rest. Using cotton bobbins from his mother's sewing kit, Park created characters and made the stop-motion film Walter Goes Fishing, which stars Walter the Rat and his pet worm. Nick Park has since moved on to other creations, most notably Wallace and Gromit. Park drew inspiration from within his life for his characters. According to Park himself, a former English teacher provided both the looks and personality for Wallace, while Gromit is based on himself. No crackers, Gromit. We've forgotten the crackers. An eccentric inventor, Wallace fills his house with gadgets to make his life easier. However, these inventions usually do not work as expected, and it is up to Gromit to save them both. Described by Park, Wallace is said to use a sledgehammer to crack a nut. For instance, he travels to the moon in order to find cheese. Everybody knows the moon's made of cheese. Along with cheese, also Wallace loves tea and crackers. Gromit, Wallace's dog on the other hand, never speaks but still has a very distinct personality. Gromit is really the brains of the duo and often rolls his eyes as Wallace when his contraptions go awry. He uses electric tools professionally and also reads books. Nick Park's first film, A Grand Day Out, was started when Park was in college. It was finished in 1989. The following year, it was nominated for the Best Picture Award but did not win. In 1985, Nick Park joined Ardman Studios, an animation company. While there, he finished A Grand Day Out and made another film, Creature Comforts which beat out the wrong trousers at the Oscars. In 1993, Park created his next Wallace and Gromit film, The Wrong Trousers, and in 1995, Wallace and Gromit, A Close Shave. Both films won Oscars in British Academy of Film and Television Arts Award for Best Animated Short Film and Best Animated Film, respectively. Nick Park and the Ardman team made the feature-length film Chicken Run in 2000. It was nominated for the British Academy of Film and Television Arts Alexander Korda Award for Best British Film, but did not win either. However, it did win a Golden Globe Award. In March of 2006, Ardman released another film that Park had been working on for the past five years, Wallace and Gromit, The Curse of the were It won the Oscar Award for Best Animated Feature. In 2007, Wallace and Gromit, A Matter of Loaf and Death was released and was nominated for the Oscar Award for Best Animated Short Film and won the British Academy of Film and Television Arts Award for Best Animated Film. Park has talked about being influenced by fellow stop-motion artist Rary Harryhausen. Harryhausen is really the grandfather of stop frame animation. Harryhausen specialized mainly in monsters and special effects, and his films are quite different than those of Wallace and Gromit. However, this principle of stop frame animation remains the same. Today, this technique is still popular and is done with other media, such as Legos.